The following is a world class bullshit as exclusive. Welcome to World Class Bullshitters, the epitome of pop culture. I'm your host, Jeff Hicks, and with me tonight is the one, the only, Dion Green. Baby, baby, boys and girls, children of all ages, I am back to bring you again the most chocolate-covered, delicious, supple, moist opinion on the internet, and that is, I want to see Jamie Lee Curtis naked. Watch Trading Places. (laughs) We should have a show called Supple Opinions. Supple Opinions. (laughs) I like that. Supple Opinions. Welcome Simple. to Supple Opinions. Welcome to Supple Opinions of Dan Green. That, that oh, yeah. should be one of our skits, guys. We do need to get, we need to uh, get on Adult Swim. I feel like we'll have the greatest show ever. You know, fuck Eric Andre and all that other shit. Us. World oh World God, World. there's 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 a lot of stuff that can be removed from that channel and we'll still be fine. Honestly, yeah, we'll like about eighty percent of this shit on there can be removed and it'll it'll be okay. What what do you do down the road if you're like, guys, we love your show so much, we want to give you your own streaming service? I mean, I mean, we'll take it for the money, but we'd have to produce countless hours of content. I think we can pull it off. Yeah, count me in on that one, buddy. No, yeah, no, we'll, 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 we'll have a movie we'll just... called How to Whore Yourself Out for a Billion Dollars and then <laughs> lose all self-respect <laughs> in the process. There you go. Be the longest title for a movie ever. It's like Dion literally sitting in one of those director's chairs and Hillary and D2 come to the set. He's like, yeah, I can't make it today, but buy yourself a car and another one and another, yeah. another one and another one. <laughs> <laughs> and DJ's like, I love you, Daddy. Like, I love you too. Ugh. And then you just throw him like a wad of hundreds. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> oh, that man shocking in the background is the last standing Samoan big rig, Nick Utaram. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? And finally, the last standing Appalachian American, Ken No Slice. He who looks into the abyss realizes that there's nothing looking back at him. The only thing he sees is his own character. Ricky, do you understand, Bud? The abyss, the shit abyss. R.I.P. John D- Dunsworth, gone a year but never forgotten. This drinks for you, Mister Leahy. You're always going to be the liquor. All right, <laughs> I, I did not understand that reference. I'm like Captain. Yeah, America no, no, not, not even a little bit. <laughs> it's because you guys don't watch Trailer Park Boys. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a reason well, for that. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll work on the delivery, but I'm proud of you. I'm against Canadian American. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Build the Build wall. wall. Build the wall. <laughs> no, man. Yesterday, uh, Mr. Leahy left us unexpectedly and way oh, too geez. soon. So that was for him. All right, Pete. I'm still mad at Canada because they took away all our Tim Hortons. Ours closed down too, but it wasn't Canada's fault. It was the guy that had the franchise's fault. He just one day just shuttered all the doors. It's like, dude, fuck you. Shut it down. Shut it down now. Yeah, it's like, a... I want my Hortons. I want my dude, One of the ones closed over uh, near going closer to Lansing from East Lansing. Mm-hmm. And people, the locals freaked out. They were so pissed. <laughs> Is the one? It was on the news. They were like, oh, the, uh, the North uh, Cedar Tim Hortons closed. And Locals are pissed off. They had they had a fucking news story, a local mid Michigan news story about a Tim Hortons closing. They riot Dion, in the streets. Dion, when I get there tomorrow night, I want I want some Hortons to be waiting for me, and I'd appreciate that very muchly. Yeah, you know what? Honey yeah. crawlers, please. Yeah. yeah, I want a maple glazed. And some goddamn tidbits. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that Kevin Smith special where some fan brings him timbits on stage and Kevin refuses? Yeah. To no, but I'm surprised his fat ass didn't eat him. <laughs> Damn. I guess well, now, poison well, yeah, I was think more I, of a concern oh, than God. carbohydrates. Well, I think I, I think now I think I just read an article recently where he's like he's under 200 pounds now. Good for him. So, good job, yeah. Kev. Yeah, man, we're not. We'll make fun of you for your shitty opinions, but never your uh, positive life changes. Good job. Exactly. Man. We're, we're yeah. actually behind you on that one. Plus, I want you to be alive so I can talk about how shitty of a filmmaker you are nowadays. Yeah, I want you yeah, to make uh, yoga hosers too, so I can dump on it some more. <laughs> yeah, I need views, yeah. bitch. Make shitty movies, kind of. Yeah, 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 please, yeah, please, make yoga hosers too, so I can thumbs down it again on Netflix. <laughs> or you know, do something smart like bringing back the Clerks cartoons or making Clerks three and it not suck. Yeah, you should bring back the Clerks cartoon. I met Brian Christopher O'Halloran once. He said that would have been his dream job, to do nothing but the yeah. Clerks cartoon. But Kevin Smith took it away by being a greedy asshole. Listen, listen, Kevin, you have enough money maker and streaming service to make the cartoon, okay? Just, just do that. Yeah, all motherfucker. Right? All those ideas you guys were talking about in the commentaries just enraged me because I didn't get to see them. You know what, Kendo? We'll just take those ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, good. You think he's really going to be like, well, you guys took it from a commentary. 
Yeah, but you never made it, so it's not technically... Um, yeah, you can't copyright an idea that hasn't happened. Yeah. We'll give you an executive producer you're not, credit. You're not Kevin Garnett. <laughs> executive produced my ass a latte, okay, fucky? <laughs> it's Ben. No, it is fucking He crackinated. <laughs> Get me a white boy. Get me a blonde-haired white boy so I can enjoy this shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Only in 2001 could you make a movie like that. Yes. That's true. Oh, Pre-reduce. yeah. There's no way you can get away with that today. No. Pre-9-11 movies. The best. I, I love that movie. I, I won't even uh, try to act like I'm too good for Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. The movie's fucking awesome. So, folks, uh, this is episode 145 of World Class Bullshitters. We're getting closer and closer to our very, very big special of episode 150. And if you're a patron, you're going to get an uh, inclusive, an exclusive extra episode. We'll call it 100. And inclusive. Yeah, it's inclusive, all right, because it's going to be. Got two dicks. We include you in the show. Well, (laughs) there's going to be a guy that's had a dick in his mouth or two. So, uh, we're going (laughs) to. For uh, our patrons, we're going to give you guys a extra bonus episode that we record of every bullshitter that's ever appeared on the show regularly. So we've had a couple one-time guests, and they won't be invited back. But we're going to have the four of us, and we're going to have Dustin, and Loudy, and Phil, and Dan, and Channel Dad Brian Lape, and the gentleman Brian Callahan. That's everybody, right? Uh, you can yeah. have Hillary. She's appeared on more than one. If Hillary wants to join, she can too. Always. It's it's gonna it's gonna be. Oh, a- you forgot Joel. Oh yeah, Joel, because he's so. That's old. right. <laughs> but folks, that is gonna be uh, coming at you real real soon. But we just wanted to give you a big heads up because you know uh, this has been a great year for the channel, and we want to look back and celebrate where we come, and we want to be so thankful that we're no longer there anymore because the show absolutely <laughs> sucked back in the day. But I want to give a quick shout out to our boy Seth Scott, who's been listening to the old episodes diligently and telling us his favorite moments in our Facebook group, because it reminds me of how crazy the show used to be. But, you know, Dion, honestly, the only thing I'm embarrassed by from those old episodes was the audio quality. If we could just magically go back and up the audio quality, I wouldn't be like not wanting people to listen to them. It that was that was definitely the roughest part, especially like you know like Phil's microphone and having the if you're listening to it in your car and your earphones constantly turn the shit up and down, it was just that's definitely the worst part of it by far. Yeah, oh, and then and then Dustin wanted to, to butt fuck everything, well, that or, 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 butt. or everything to butt fuck him. So you know. <laughs> So that's why we're poison there, Captain. That's why we're not going to put that episode on YouTube because of the content restrictions. We don't want this channel to go away because Dustin made some jokes about stuff that we won't even talk about now. Yep, that's well, I yeah, exactly. exactly. It's gonna be it's gonna be a shit show. I know it, it is. It's, it's, it'll put the shit in world class bullshitters. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's a couple weeks away, so don't get too excited for that. You're gonna still enjoy the rest of our October, October. I almost said Halloween. So Halloween in October, you get Hawktober, where we watch nothing <laughs> but Hulk Hogan matches all all, all week long, bro. brother. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> they say that all men are created equal. <laughs> no, no, no. But um. No, folks, that's coming down the pipe. Enjoy our Halloween content. And this weekend, make sure you guys look for our live streams. All the bullshitters are here together in town, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, we may live stream us eating lunch together, talking about shit. Or we're going to live stream for my party, and it's going to get kind of crazy. And that girl that Phil hit on, that shot him down, has been invited to my party. She's still my friend, so she may show oh, up. Oh, fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll hit on her and, and get someone and put it in his face. Oh, no, it's she, fine. she's married, so that ain't happening. But... Uh, well, I'll I'll also give it a shot. Who cares? Um, good. She's cute. <laughs> I will never deny that. But it's just so funny how much Phil hates her. <laughs> I need to befriend a lot of females and just be like, "Hey, you want to hang out with me?" And shoot my one friend down just for you know whatever. Oh my god! Yeah. Damn. People, people are listening. Right. Entertain shit. People are listening right now. Like Jeff, that is some mean shit. I'm like, have you met my friends? All right. Yeah. <laughs> I think they deserve it. <laughs> Dion yeah, agrees. They're... They're, uh, yeah, the, the, they're kind of complaining bitches, so, you know. But I love them, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> here's the, here's how you know you're good friends with Jeff when he tortures the fuck out of you, yeah, like exactly. Dion. When he doesn't, exactly. when he doesn't talk to you or come, or come to your house, you're not, you're, you're, you're not that good as friends. Yeah. yeah. But when shit goes down, who will be there to back you up? 
at a fucking moment's notice, me. So, God damn right. Oh, of and course. Plus, no, 100 percent If you live your life without your drinks getting spiked with Everclear, are you really living your life? <laughs> Did Jaden Smith just appear on this podcast? <laughs> if we can't see the Everclear, do we really even see? <laughs> is it really that clear? I what I'm hearing is that you need me to go to the uh, party source tomorrow and pick up a giant gallon of Everclear. Oh God oh, damn it! No. I still I, got the one from. I had a conversation. I had a conversation with American Trent about that. He's like, he's like, is Everclear stronger than JD? He's like, yes, yes, oh, it is. Because yes. JD is like eighty proof, and I think oh, Everclear is one fifty. Yeah, one ninety. Oh yeah, one one ninety. So like, yeah, I mean, you know, don't like. Try it, but be be careful. Just be careful. <laughs> Make sure you dilute it really well. Did yeah, like 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 one shot it. to a glass of whatever. Dion, have you ever heard the story about um, Dustin in the Bacardi One Fifty One? I feel I remember it being mentioned. I don't think I've ever heard the whole story. So college, he needed me to go buy him booze because he I think he was twenty one, but he didn't have any money. So I went to buy him a bottle of Bacardi 151 because he wanted to go to this work meeting drunk when he was working at the yearbook. Right, right, right. Yep, so yep, yep. he's like, all right, now how do I do this? Because, you know, for Dustin being a grown man, he's a pussy when it comes to drinking anything. Yes, like he smells yes. – he'll smell like Pepsi. He's like – I'm like, dude, it's Pepsi. Just drink the fucking shit. It can't, you, you watch me open the bottle. Brand new. I exactly. You're not Dion. We're not close enough that I'll spike your drink with Everclear. Cause see, exactly. Because, see, once Dion blacks out, I'll take care of him. You, I'll just watch you, you know, fuck your couch or something. <laughs> Vomit. <laughs> and, and dream about dicks. Oh! <laughs> I can't stop dreaming about these dicks. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, look, I'll just look it aside. Uh, Dustin was like, get me this booze. So I bought it for him. And Bacardi 151 comes with that, like, cover over the thing. Because if the fumes escape, it can catch fire easily. And oh so, shit! And so Dustin's like, "I'm gonna get drunk and go to my meeting." So he holds his nose and he chugs like I don't know a good third of a bottle of Bacardi 151, and I don't hear from him. Oh, for what like the two fuck! Days. <laughs> you what? And then I don't hear from him for two days. Oh, Jesus. holy shit! Did he say what fucking happened? I this isn't confirmed, but that may be the weekend he got his wife pregnant. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but all I know is he. <laughs> No, no, it, it, it couldn't have been that weekend because it was when I was dating Amy and it was at her apartment and it was not in the beginning of the school year because I wasn't okay. 21 yet. Okay, okay. Long story short, folks, uh, if I love you, you may get drunk around me, but I will take care of you. God damn and right. take plenty of photos. So <laughs> we actually have a podcast to cover this week. So these people are oh, yeah, thinking, like, hey, this is the epitome of pop culture. All I've heard you talk about is uh, spiking your friends' drinks there, Jeff. Well, it's not a crime if they don't press charges. <laughs> right. oh, Me too. Shit. <laughs> no, it's been done both ways. You guys fucked me at WrestleMania that one year. Oh, yeah, because um, I just kept feeding you fucking mixed drinks. No, you remember we were playing King Cup and you switched the cards out. And <gasps> oh, shit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what it was. Yep. Yep. Because yep, yep, yep. you're like, we that knew was... you could handle the booze, but not Nick. And I chugged it down. I'm like, woof, that was strong. Oh, and yeah, because no, yeah, if, if I drank it, I probably would have thrown up because I've been drinking all day that day. And we know you're a lightweight. You got white girl wasted in two drinks. You were giggling like a schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, no, you all, you also fucking you also fucking ever cleared me, so I feel loved, and you know it's a little it's a little bit uh, a little bit crazy. The only one we haven't ever cleared is Kendo. Oh man. Well, yeah, he well, did. He, he, to. he fucking <laughs> put the barrel to his own brain and pulled. I was gonna say, there's a good chance I'm just gonna do that to myself. Yes, that's why I like you. <laughs> I so, mean, we we were there that night. We all saw what happened, yeah. and I'm not ashamed of it. I had fun. Veronica and her <laughs> boyfriend were there too. So uh... yeah, and they hated me. So I, that's fine. I my mission accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> my friends like me more. People that I don't know like me less. It works. So this past week, since the episode 144 went live, we were gifted with the presence of this new Aladdin live-action remake teaser trailer. So we're going to talk about that. Yeah, I know, right? It's a fun... Whatever. Disney is on the remake kick. Disney is the laziest, most successful company in the world. Like Disney yes. is that kid that doesn't really do their homework in school, but somehow still gets straight A's, and the teacher makes them, you know... Uh, puts them on the honor roll, they get valedictorian, they go to college for free, all this other shit. Disney gets all these wonderful things to happen to them for using the least amount of effort in their products. And this Aladdin live-action remake is just the next step 
and Disney doing, you know, zero effort work. So Kendo, Nick, or Kendo and Dion, you guys saw this last week during the football game, and I searched it out myself because we needed something to talk about this week. And uh, what did we all think? Were you impressed? Did it look exciting? You know, and if Nick, if you haven't watched it yet, do you like the original Aladdin? Yeah, I do. Um, and once again, like this, this Disney just like like what the fuck do we do now? We don't have any we don't have any more ideas. Oh yeah, we'll just live action every, all the cartoon stuff we used to do. No, <sighs> this is lazy as shit, dude. Uh huh. Yeah. No point in coming up with new stories. We got a bunch of stuff we can just fucking make live action. Yeah, which is going to cost them more money or whatever. So it's fine. It's fine. But hey, they can sell Aladdin the cartoon on Blu-ray and then turn around and sell you the live action on Blu-ray. It's just what I always wanted. Uh, I mean, it's just, I will admit, it did look <clears throat> pretty cool. You know, I, uh, seeing the, 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 the tiger head in the sand is, is cool. You know, seeing the, the treasure cave with the lamp was cool. Uh, but again, it's, 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 this weird need for Disney to constantly remind everyone, hey, remember this movie that we made 20 years ago, 25 years ago, 30 years ago? We're doing it live. We're, we're Bill O'Reilly the shit out of our own stuff. And it's just like, but, but why? Is it because original ideas like A Wrinkle in Time didn't fucking work? Or yeah, because you, yeah, you half ass the fuck out of them? Yeah, it's like, so it's just, it's just, it's a weird. It's a weird thing to witness. It's just uh, like, what the fuck is going on here? But again, like I said, it look, I'll at least give it a shot. Uh, I, I'm not going to see this shit opening day. Plus, you know, the uh, dude who's playing Aladdin looks like a goddamn Chippendales dancer. But, you know, <laughs> fuck. I mean, it, <laughs> I'll at least say it, it looks... Also, also, he is like the lightest skinned brown guy I've ever fucking seen. Know, like, like, is, it's is, like... He, he's from New Hampshire? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I looked at him, I was like, "Is he just like Italian and he has like black slick back hair? What the fuck is? <laughs> Who oh. did they get to play this? Andrew Dice Clay? Oh, yeah, gosh, Aladdin Dice Clay. <laughs> I would watch that no. movie. Jasmine, Hickory Dickory Doc, you know the fucking rest. <laughs> Genie, take it away. Oh Jeez. man. No, uh, I love the original Aladdin. I saw that in theaters as a kid. I had the video game. Aladdin was the first video game I ever beat. I had it on Super Nintendo. I oh, 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 shit. Oh, yeah. I remember that video yeah. game. That Aladdin oh, Super God. Nintendo Sega game. It was a lot of fun. That was really good. Oh, yeah, dude. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And I watched so many the hours. shit out of that tape. But oh yeah. nowadays, I mean, I just don't have as much respect for Disney as a company, lack of creativity, lack of originality. They just buy up every goddamn thing and they make it worse. You know, their streaming service, they're buying up they bought Star Wars, they ruined Star Wars. They bought Marvel, well, they've they're we're going down a path with Marvel that we can't return from. So there's all these things that Disney has done. And I do like to look back and think, man, you know, Aladdin, Lion King, Incredibles, so many fun things. But now they just do it again and it just the novelty, the specialness is just gone. Yeah, it, yeah, their 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 brand their brand of movies is just I think it's it, we've seen it too many times and we're seeing it getting rehashed again. It's like we, we get your formula, we're we're tired of it. Move on. Yeah. Yep. It's, Same old shit, new format. Yeah, it's just a weird like oh we'll have some young people in it and it'll look cool and then it'll be very meh and then we'll be like hey we did it you guys watched it hey get ready for Lion King ha ha we broke new ground. Yeah, <laughs> you're Adrian. We did it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it, it's just it's hard to discuss something like this and um, I give you guys an honest take outside of fuck Disney because what has Disney done? At least for me, for me, that's got me pumped. Uh, nothing. So nope. I will not uh, since I was like maybe five, but even then, I was never big on Disney. <laughs> yeah, we were a Warner Brothers family here. mm Hmm. Yeah, mostly here too, but you know, I, I, yeah, there are so many. But even then, there are still so many good. Even when you had <clears throat> the uh, you know the smaller films that co- would maybe make it to theaters, but mainly you'd see them on Disney Sunday night movies like The Kid and My Date with the President's like Daughter. <laughs> yeah, shit like that. Dude, well, I, mean, I don't know if I count that one, but uh, dude, I will. <laughs> I'll be the fir- I'll be the first person to say on this show. 
'90s Disney kicked ass, especially the live action stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, because really well, well I think I think back in the day, I think Nickelodeon had Friday nights because they had Snick Saturday night. And then Saturday, wait, is this okay? Yeah, so they had Saturday, yeah, night. Saturday well, night Nick. That's true. <laughs> Nick. I fucked. I fucked that up. I fucked that up entirely. I fucked What's it called? Entirely. Thick. <laughs> Thick. Man, that sounds like a great thing. <laughs> I guess yeah. So so both channels had Saturday nights, and either one, you know, it's a lot of fun. Well, right now I'm looking at a list of live action Disney films from 1950 to present. So let me uh, go to the 90s and see what came out. Because yeah, Dion, like you said, the smaller ones were good. I remember watching the Disney uh, a movie or the week on ABC. Fuck yeah, man! The, the the Sunday night movies were the bomb diggity. It's just so awkward, really, to see Disney now. This 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 entity. This, this need for yeah, this entity that needs to have attention for all the wrong reasons, but it tells itself it's all the right reasons. It's just the weirdest fucking thing in the world when before they wanted to make good shit. Even even if it wasn't for just children, it was it was a property that the entire family could sit and watch and enjoy. And it's just it's so disheartening now, you know, and again I'm not putting this all on Aladdin, but I think Aladdin is what happens when you're trying it's the it's the other end of the spectrum so instead of doing something in the middle for everyone you either put something out that's really stylish really stylistic but it doesn't have a lot of substance or you put something on the other end of the spectrum that's just really shitty but tells everyone that it's something really good like star wars and it fucking sucks <laughs> mm-hmm. by the way disney had a film called the devil and max devlin from 1981 and the poster's got a picture of elliot gould signing a contract with bill cosby as the devil Oddly oh. pathetic. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah, that one worked out. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah I'm just trying to find that one on eBay. It's going to be worth a pretty penny. I, I kind of would buy this movie poster right now. I'm going to share you guys the link over on Facebook. <laughs> uh, tell me what you think. If this movie poster could tell the future, well, you'll see here. <laughs> just just... <laughs> you see, the key is to sign the contract and then oh. take the roofie. And then and, and then and then drink this drink this glass of water. Why does it why does it taste funny? Oh, don't worry about it. It's the pudding. Is it me? <laughs> if you look at this poster, Elliot Gould's hands are the same color as Bill Cosby's face. <laughs> yeah, <they are. laughs> Just putting that out there. Somebody oh, didn't geez. color it right. No, but I mean a new <laughs> high in being low down, which might be the fucking True soundtrack to Bill Cosby's existence in 2018. <laughs> oh, Bill Cosby, you're a piece of shit. No, but listen to some of the stuff that they put out live action Disney. They put out, uh, where did we go? Mighty Ducks 1 and 2. They put out yep. Cool Runnings. They put out, these are just theatrical ones, Blank Check. They put out Angels in the Jesus. Outfield, The Santa Claus, Squanto, The Jungle Book. Heavyweights, that's one of my favorite movies. Oh, my God, the live oh, action Jungle Book was dope. Yeah. With Jason Lee Scott or Jason Scott? Yeah. Lee. Uh, they had all kinds of shit. Tall Tale, Man of the House. Was that Chevy Chase? Okay. Yeah, that was pretty decent. Yep. Yep, King, was King Arthur's fun. Court, The Big Green, Tom and Huck, Homeward Bound, First Kid. That was the shit right there. First Sinbad, yo. Oh my god, I remember that. <laughs> Georgia the Jungle, Rocket Man. Holy shit. Flubber. These were all. F- oh, know. dude, Rocket Man is hilarious. What's the Rocket fuck? Man is hilarious. Epic, Disney. I know. I got a fun Flubber story. I'll tell you guys in person. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I just—it's not even that bad. I really just don't want to talk about it on the air. People are like, no, "Really? Fine, is that appropriate?" I'll, I'll just tell you guys as soon as we're not. done, you know, with the tonight show. I'll tell you. <laughs> um, Meet the Deedles. I remember that movie. Do you remember that movie? No. What? The fuck it was a. Uh, it was about two surfers end up at Yellowstone Park and have to stop. Oh the yeah. Out for revenge. Dion. The only reason I remember Paul that movie, Walker. Paul Walker and fucking um, Taggart from Beverly Hills Cop is in it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, because I remember watching them like, oh my god, that's Taggart. So I turned off the movie to watch Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> yeah, good move. <laughs> I used to do that as a kid. Anytime I would watch a Harrison Ford movie that wasn't Indiana Jones or Star Wars, I would tend to turn it off to watch Indiana Jones or Star Wars. So <laughs> I've never seen all of Witness. Uh, really? Yeah. I owned on tape. <laughs> so I'm just saying, Disney, um, the kid, I'm surprised you remembered the kid. Dude, I fucking love the kid. I love first kid. I love the kid. God damn, so good. I remember so the commercial. Good. It was like Disney's the kid. I'm like, that makes no sense from a trailer standpoint. 
Well, plus that's the last movie that uh, no, no, it's second to last because the only movie after that that Bruce Willis had hair was Six Sense. Yep. Yeah. 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 And then that was the beginning of the end of the hair plugs, which we Harry Harry Bruce Willis, we we miss you, bro. Yeah, you look you look <laughs> a lot calmer and kinder. <laughs> Like you won't beat a random kid in your movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Disney movies have gone downhill in my opinion. A lot of those movies that we listed, I get excited even just thinking about those. Like those those Sunday night ones were the best. Yes. But, yes. Uh, oh my god. Then you get them on um VHS and they all came in the thick white container. Yeah. Oh god. The the clamshell, yep. Yep. God damn, dude. The wonderful world of Disney. I mean, it used to be wonderful. Yeah, 1998 to whatever. God, 2001, man. probably? Oh, 2002, 2000. I would say. Probably, yeah, it yeah. Was, probably ended about there. Dude, once yeah. I got into yeah. wrestling, though, everything that wasn't wrestling seemed kind of gay to me. I was like, yeah, man, <laughs> The Rock is so much cooler than Pikachu. Like, everything. Oh, hell yeah, man. Because, I mean, I was I was into both, you know, and that's one reason. And, and I think... Like that was one cool because that's why I was so those movies were cool because they were things for adults. That's why I liked wrestling so much because it was clearly for adults. It was the cool thing to watch. And in the Disney movies, they had snippets in there that were little jokes for the adults. I mean, you had you know Sinbad making jokes about getting laid, and and, <laughs> and you know the kid was you know had a small little commentary on advertising and using you know diversity in advertising and you know touching on abusive parenting and it's just like fuck man like there's now it's just they try to go for one audience and then they're like oh well because we're going for one audience all the other audiences will just follow along and watch our shit it's like that's not how that works at all you know but it's just it's just it's very disheartening it's very saddening to and again I, i'm not trying to put it all on aladdin you know, I don't. I want to make that very clear, but you know, seeing a highly stylistic version of Aladdin, even though it looks kind of cool, is a prime example of what the fuck is wrong with Disney. You know, all mm-hmm. those movies in the '90s were original ideas and original stories, and then now they're just stuck to rehashing them and trying to build on something that George Lucas did. Good job, Disney. Yeah, <laughs> you had one fucking job, <laughs> and you <laughs> fucked it up. Uh, no, but. Um... Yeah, that was uh, that was the Aladdin thing. So if anyone wanted to know what we thought about it, go team, go Aladdin. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Show you the world shining, <laughs> shimmering. I don't know the rest. La la. Take la, your la. clothes off. Now I will say yes. Jasmine <laughs> was the princess I wanted to bone the most. <laughs> I feel like Esmeralda, the one from the Hunchback of Notre Dame, would have given you the best head, though. She, yeah. w- you know, she was dirty as fuck. But the, yeah, just, so she's a gypsy. how dark that movie was yeah. really made you take a step back. Like, should I, I probably should treat her right, <laughs> or she'll put a thinner curse on me and I'll die. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> a thinner, a thinner yeah. curse on thinner. you. <laughs> she gonna fucking burn my ass alive. I love that movie so much. Thinner. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. No thinner. <laughs> I was, gonna say, I was like, that movie's dark. I tried to watch it. Hillary and I tried to watch it as adults. I was like, my parents let me watch this shit? Dude, my grandma <laughs> took me to see it in theaters. And then, that, bought, and then bought me a Quasimodo action figure. God, that would fuck me. I can't imagine how that didn't fuck me up as a kid. I don't think we realized the subtext. My, that must have been it. Because watching the beginning where the dude's about to throw, one, a baby down a fucking well. And then, two, he Spartan kicks a chick in the face, and she fucking hits her head on the steps and fucking dies. I shouldn't laugh. I was like, there's no way my parents saw this and were like, eh, fuck it, he watches Predator, he'll be okay. (laughs) (laughs) Somehow Predator is more tame. He's seen Tango and Cash, he's gonna be all right. (laughs) Exactly. He's seen that that weird sex scene in Apocalypse Now, he'll be fine. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, so uh kendo what do you got for us my friend uh would you like a jeff story of the week sure it's another week it's another week and another fucking doozy from the great state of say it all together now florida florida Florida, where hermes kalihas gasparin who from now on will just be known as uh cg because i don't feel like reading his name multiple times because i'll just keep butchering it uh, he got arrested for 
allegedly pelting his mother with sausages inside the kitchen of their Bradenton residence. <laughs> Cops charged that CG battered his 41-year-old mother after asking her to make him some food around 8 p.m. on whatever Monday this happened. The victim agreed to prepare a meal but asked her son to, quote, give her a few minutes due to being busy. The unemployed CG became angry when asked to wait, according to a probable cause statement. CG, quote, threw the remaining sausages at his mother, with one sausage striking her right in the eye. Insert joke there. He also allegedly (laughs) pushed the victim backwards and placed his hands around her neck, but did not restrict her breathing. During the police questioning, CG claimed that his mother walked up and, quote, bumped him while he was eating in the kitchen. Quote, the defendant stated that he got mad, so he threw the remaining sausages at her. CG contended that he had done nothing wrong, adding that he would not have tossed the sausages if his mother would have said sorry. CG was busted for misdemeanor domestic battery and booked into the county jail, where he remains locked up on a $750 bond. Upon his release, CG has been ordered to stay at least 500 feet away from his mother. CG was arrested earlier this year following a physical confrontation with his stepfather, who found CG smoking pot on his front porch. CG subsequently pled no contest to misdemeanor marijuana possession and resisting police charges. How old is CG again? 21 or 22. 22. Okay. All right. Whoa, the <laughs> piece of shit. So, um, he uh, clearly has not decided to heed the commandment of about honoring his mother unless you honor your mother in Florida by firing sausages at her in the kitchen. Yeah, I, th- I think that's the 11th, uh, 11th commandment. Yeah. Thou shalt so. not hit mother with sausage. Yeah. Thou shalt not hit thine mother with thy sausage. <laughs> with, thy meat, with thy meat casing. So it shall be written, so it shall not be done. <laughs> so it shall be written, so it shall be cooked until it is done. Well yes. done. <laughs> so it shall be enjoyed on buns with mustard and other garnishments. But only mustard if you're a real person. Oh, I like sauerkraut, man. Oh, well, that's okay, too. That That is acceptable. Mustard and sauerkraut are really the only acceptable the way to eat hot dogs and or sausages. Well, brats. Well, what about grilled onions? Uh, okay, so there's three condiments. Yes! You know what? <laughs> you and I agree on our fucking food choices. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go downtown to the uh, the old food cart and we'll go get some. I'm that sounds totally okay. amazing. <laughs> I and you can sound bite this one to fucking use against me at a later date. We'll never turn down a hot dog with sauerkraut, onions, and mustard on it. <laughs> so you can just sound bite wiener. that out, and all of a sudden you hear me saying, "I will never turn down a hot dog." <laughs> Thanks. You just sound bited it for me again. <laughs> yeah, you know, fuck it. It's gonna happen. Might as well just embrace it. Let's be honest. I'm not gonna edit. I'm not gonna go what forty minutes into this thing and go. Where's Kendo talking about hot dogs? Now, if you were like Joel, the time we were, at the I'm sure one store, of our good listeners will go ahead and do the work for you. Yeah, they'll probably try to get pictures of our faces too to turn us into weird memes. Yeah, we'll be like <laughs> this. Fine. We'll be like the animated stuff that they were putting out for after the uh, the mundane one got caught in that that animated entire live stream. Now, wait a minute, yes, no. that was so good. <laughs> and his I channel's a lot of humor. His channel's it. still going to shit. <laughs> well, hold on. Let's see uh, what he's doing right now. Uh, now I wanted. To, oh, wow, I just had a brain fart. I was going to bring up something important about. Uh, I don't know. Mundane Matt, where's he at? I don't even care. There's nothing important about him. No. Like People are still freaking out over him. He, he was <laughs> in a bad place, guys. Bad, bad space. <laughs> he, he's also trying to sell a, a t-shirt that has boulders. Or, I was going to say, he's trying to sell a t-shirt that has the word boulders on it now, too. Damn his yeah, his you're, you're view, a little late, buddy. His view count is down massively. Really, how bad are we talking? Um, he's getting like 700 views in seven hours. What? Yeah, people aren't even tuning in just to downvote him anymore. What the fuck? Yeah, we uh, get about a thousand views in an hour. Sometimes, no, no we get about two thousand views in the first hour for all of our videos. <laughs> Jeez, Jeez man. damaging your brand, dude. He's down to 83 patrons. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, this is what happened. About a bad headspace, bitch. Yeah, well, he's he is he's a boulder holder, so you know. If we only had a sad violin playing in the background, it'd make this all the better. If only I learned to play the violin. Well, get on it, bitch. 
Alright, fine. I expect you to know a Sonata by next week. <laughs> okay. Can you at least play the Incredible Hulk's theme? Do do yeah. uh, <laughs> If I don't if I don't walk into where we're staying next week and hear Adagio for strings, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and for reference, that's the song from Platoon. Uh well I guess you're gonna sleep outside then. Um that's Oh, fine. I didn't say I was sleeping outside, I just said I'd be pissed. Eh. Yeah, I'll we'll bring you some sour. Well, sleeping outside would be the most platoon thing to do. I know, right? Oh, sure. there you go. I didn't say I wanted to live like platoon. I just oh, my bad, my bad. Platoon. He was going to get shot yeah, in the back yeah, while he's running yeah, towards yeah. us. Hey guys, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I would try to make that. I would try to die epically though. Just throw the hands up in the air, fucking going out Green Goblin style. <laughs> Nobody says no to me. <laughs> I'm Sergeant Elias. Back I'm to somewhat of a soldier myself. Oh man. We we need to eventually do a commentary for that trilogy. Absolutely. Even there was only one movie of that. No, Spider Man. Oh, <laughs> you thought about Platoon? I mean, I'm willing to do a commentary for Platoon. It's just the Platoon trilogy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's Platoon, on day one. Heartbreak Ridge, and Tropic Thunder. That actually sounds hey, like a good. Make, list. We can make our own our own Vietnam trilogy. Yeah, I was gonna say that's not a bad way to spend a Saturday. We should actually start making our own trilogies of films. Like you know, <laughs> they don't yes. go together at all. But they're this is our trilogy, so you know, we'll the, call we'll call we'll do one. We'll call it the Dutch trilogy. It'll be Predator, Commando, and we'll throw a random in there. Um, the Running Man. I think that's fine. Yeah, the <laughs> Running Man. We'll always call that the, the 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 Dutch trilogy, and then we'll of course do the uh, the Rocky trilogy. But none of them will be Rocky movies. It'll be like Rambo two, Rambo three, and then fucking um, stop or my mom will shoot. <laughs> that was like, I was gonna say not uh, not not over the top. Ooh, I do like. <laughs> and, ooh, well, we don't, we don't want Loudy to come while listening to the goddamn show <laughs> or listen to the show at all. But hey, yeah. oh, he can listen. He, he just. Doesn't. I was going to say he has to listen to it f- to actually not be able to, <laughs> to be there. Yeah. 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 But yeah, man, then we'll do we'll do the true the true Axel trilogy, yeah. Beverly Hills Cop 1, Beverly Hills Cop 2, and then Miami Vice. Oh, I was going to say <laughs> Metro, but hey, good enough for me. How no, about, no, me, yeah, Metro's yeah, Metro, how about, Metro how about makes Vampire sense. Vampire in Brooklyn. That's that's very Axel Foley like. Oh god. Oh, oh man. it is. It it did have uh, the dude from It's a Different World. Oh, the guy that became the, the zombie? Yeah. The ghoul. <laughs> it also had uh, Johnny Witherspoon. Is he still alive? I don't think so. Okay. No, he's no John Witherspoon's still alive. Yep, yep, he's still I alive. Say, I was about to say, okay, Google, but you know, I'll have to now. We got Dion. Dion, oh, shit, it's listening. Fuck, stop listening. <laughs> oh, it, it Google, stop listening. It's all right. It, Google told us all about what a Merkin was last night. <laughs> a pubic wig. <laughs> That Twilight Zone stream was oh, incredible. God. I mean, a week ago last night. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> keep kayfabe here, boys. Woo, yeah. Uh, Stone All right, Cold Curtis Lindenfield, cool it over there. Oh, my God. That, that was the <laughs> I didn't ask hour. him to re-record it. Jeez. He messaged me. He's like, is there anything I need to not say anymore on the show? I was like, yeah, but I didn't list it off. Right, yeah. just everything. Just don't... Yeah, yeah. The the stuff you normally say, like in private to your friends, like ninety percent of that, don't say in the show. You know, they say the best way to be is be yourself. Don't be yourself. <laughs> yeah, and you, you're the exception to the rule. <clears throat> don't be yourself. Can you act like Dan Rather or something? Dead. Right. <laughs> Brian Williams. Dan Rather's not dead. Be like Brian Williams, but in this case, lie about where you were, so people actually want to hear you speak. Did Brian <laughs> Williams get in trouble for lying about where he was? Yeah, I mean, he, he, he uh, had put a story on in the early days of the Iraq war that he was in a helicopter that was attacked, blah, 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 blah. Turns out he was in a helicopter that saw the attack. He wasn't actually attacked. So, Oh, that, yeah, I remember hearing about that. He did give us a really, him. really great meme, too. God, he got fired. Brian again. Williams or Dustin? <laughs> no, the Brian Williams, I was there meme. Anybody would post something, you would just immediately <laughs> post that meme. I was there. <laughs> That is perfect. Yes, please. Fans, someone make I that. did that one day. Somebody was like, was like, today's the commemoration of D-Day where blah, 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 blah. The first comment was made. It was Brian Williams with the, the words, I was there on it. That, oh my God. <laughs> so good. Oh, man. I need to use that for now. Uh, yeah. Every time. Uh, yeah, let's... Yep. 
Yep, and then especially like whenever, uh, like when we eventually go to WrestleMania in New York and Star Wars in Chicago, and you know, Loudy mentions something about, well, I wanted to go. We'll just like every time he says something like that, we'll just put the Brian Williams "I was there" meme, just without explaining it, just put that shit right there after he says it. <laughs> well, fuck my ass and call me Sally. Shit, I wasn't there, guys. <sighs> we know Loudy. <laughs> Yeah, laddie, calm, calm it down, buddy. Calm it down. Oh man, episode one fifty is gonna be just the bomb. Well, no, the thing is, there's the real episode one fifty, which will be oh yeah, live that's right. On Thursday is normal, and there'll be the secret episode one fifty point five, which is for the patrons, and maybe eventually on streaming that can't hit YouTube because um, you know I don't really want a YouTube uh, copyright strike or a copy or a content claim or some dumb shit. Because we talked about licking assholes for seven hours. <laughs> oh, it's like, you know, the bumps around the... You know, just stop. Just stop right there, Loudy. But God, I'm actually kind of, in a sadistic way, looking forward to getting them all on there again. Just because I have a feeling it's going to be try to get myself over fest. Yeah. And then I'm, oh, it is. It is. In my mind, I've written the episode. I'm going to end with, and this is why the show's great without you guys. And then hit the stop record <laughs> button. <laughs> Spicy. Yeah. Hot take. <laughs> scorching. Like, you're mean, man. I'm like, uh, no. The number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to 75,000 75, without you guys. So, um, yeah. But what about all the, ta- what about the subscribers we got together? And, the, and at the end of the day, all you got to do is the Scott Standard voice. The numbers don't lie. And they spell disaster for you at the secret episode 150. <laughs> <laughs> the Kumite episode. Yeah. God. Oh my God. World that, class. That actually was Watch a funny sports. episode. We would have fun on the Kumite, I think. Yep. Oh yeah, for sure. The thing is, I don't dislike any of those guys that run the show, so it wouldn't be like I go there to pick a fight with them. We would just talk shit about you know movies and entertainment. Right. You know, and then eventually it'd just be Phil saying random shit about the millions of the four billion copies 1. of fucking one billion. <laughs> yeah, of Happy Gilmore being in the best movie of the 21st century, then Dan eventually chiming in at the end of the episode. Yeah. I was listening to an old one, and every time I would say something, he would go, uh, yeah, and then he would just repeat what I said. I'm like, oh, my God. It was the, it was the, the room commentary. Just yep. Like, oh. <laughs> you know what we should do to generate channel money is uh, take public domain movies, burn them to DVDs with our commentaries. I agree. Dude, we can do that. We can do brilliant. that. That's brilliant. I think we've that's had good. that idea before. I'm sure we have. I'm sure you probably came up with something like that before, but I was watching Night of the Living Dead yesterday. Fuck well, okay, it, let's put it into practice. Yeah. We should we should do Night of the Living Day and Night of the Living Day. Night of the Living Dead on a live stream. Because we could show the movie technically, because it's in the public domain. Yep, because it's public domain. Exactly, dude. We can one hundred percent do that. all sorts of shit. Uh, I'm looking Manos, forward to our real Halloween fate. stream. That's yep. going to be fucking nuts. I was fucking tickled pink when I saw the schedule pop up, and it was like, man, I've got to work a lot of shitty days and shifts. Oh, fuck, I'm off on Halloween. Perfect. There you go. Crisis averted. Yeah, I was so nervous. I was like, man, Nick and I are going to have to just do this ourselves. I mean, it'll be fun. Uh, I had a couple of aces up my sleeve. I was going to be okay. I know how to get out of it. I'd have just been like, uh, I'm sick. <laughs> Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm a 35 year old man that needs to be sick on Halloween. <laughs> Pussy. I mean, hell, if 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 that would happen, I would have been down for it. I'd been like, yep, we gotta do it. Let's do it. Oh, I would have. Yeah. I would have. I was shut actually, up or shut up, boys. I was getting prepared too. I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch these movies beforehand, so that way I have tons of shit to talk about. Because like, when it gets to earnest. I really don't have much to say outside of like, yeah, I like Ernest movies enough. That was right. actually the one thing that like, to- when I thought I was gonna have to work on Halloween, that's the part that like broke my heart the most. I'm like, I'm not gonna get to watch Ernest Scared Stupid, even though I own it. And I can watch it anytime I want. I can't watch it with Nick. I love Somebody how much you appreciate love that it film. as much as I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm glad you're gonna be there though. It's gonna be it's gonna be nice. Yep, it's going to be a good way to spend Halloween, boys. I'm going to get myself a cooler full of actually healthy food, so when I drink booze, I'm just going to fill up on, like, vegetables and stuff. Yeah, I was kind of planning on doing something similar to that. Because, you know, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So, you know, beer in, water in, healthy food in. 
Yeah, I was I was talking to American Trent about that. He's like he's like, yeah, man, I'm you know, it's like it's like you guys you guys aren't gonna do any mixed drinks or whatever. It's like, no, we don't want to die. Well, Trent yeah, just turned twenty one, so. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. I, I yeah, I was trying I was trying to like understand that in like the mentality because I remember turning twenty one as well. It's like you know, like you can go to bars, you get alcohol everywhere, you can drink all the time. It's like, yeah, you can when you're twenty one, and you're you're you know you're at that. I point mean, in life. I can <laughs> do it at twenty nine, but it's kind of weird because none of my friends will do it. <laughs> That's why, I mean, that's why you need to look closer I'd to you. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we'll definitely do that. Yeah, you know what? If you lived closer, your family would probably never see you because you and I would be out drinking all the time. Our yes. lives would be fucked. <laughs> like, hey, bro, you want to go to Over the Rhine after the show? Goddamn right. Hey, man, we'd be exactly like 007. They'd be able to identify us. Oh, liver's not too good. Mm-hmm. Yep, this is definitely him. <laughs> what a good way to go. If you gotta go, go with a smile. <laughs> God damn yeah. it. She was using Brand X. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how oh, much I no. love that fucking has been using Brand X. I still right. haven't found a, more, a Joker I love more than him. Yeah, it was, he, was, he was right up there, man. He, you know, he's, the he's up there, there man. I, I love Heath, but Nicholson's still my favorite. Definitely. I like you more and more that we're friends, Dion. Well, you know, I tell the truth, baby. <laughs> Especially when 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 the rock gets gets accused of being too dark. Oh, yeah. man, you are no, not dark enough. Yeah. Sorry, not dark enough. I'm sorry, not dark enough. You are in rare form, dude. That shit pissed me off, man. You know, I'm, I'm I'm going through my week. I already had a shitty day that week, and then some fucking wannabe Diane Sawyer fucking comes out with some bullshit article. I ain't standing for that shit. Yep, and here we are a week later talking about it. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. <clears throat> he's had a week to digest and he's still furious. Goddamn right. I don't play that <laughs> shit. Get, give that girl my phone number, yo. Nicole that bitch call me. Rap. I want justice. <laughs> uh, you're, yeah, dude. If, if, you, if you click on her name in the article, you can go look at her Twitter. You can tweet her all you want. Yeah. Ashley Simpson can't rap. <laughs> <laughs> Take a page out of chasing Amy and every uh, end every tweet with hashtag Black Rage. <laughs> It'd be like, yeah, I'll give you points for that reference and the chasing Amy reference, which is hilarious. Thank you. Dion's now like a in the middle of a social media shitstorm. They're like, yeah, the black member of a white supremacist podcast, world class, <laughs> <bullshitters." laughs> the all right white supremacist racist <laughs> podcast, world class bullshitters, and they're and they're pretend black guy. It's like, well, yep, and then I was like, did you guys just listen to what the fuck you just said? <laughs> that sounds like some Fox News shit right there. Yeah, the black member of a white supremacist group. <laughs> we told you about them. Like, wait, what? Stop hitting the <laughs> table. Uh, I, uh, uh, <laughs> one more time. Eh, one more time. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I told you. God, I miss that show. I, that would be something that would be fun to try to do a commentary on, but all we do is laugh the entire time. Seriously, that'd be hard nothing to talk to in that one. Nothing we could done. Then we just sit there and go, ah, Dookie. Oh, that God, shit. so good. And Matt, talk about shows that you really couldn't do. Dave Chappelle would probably be in that category, man. I think they really oh, would. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. He would get so much shit for the things he did. I mean, that oh, first God. episode would never even be allowed to air. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? You know, you're making my penis soft. <laughs> Good old Clayton Bigsby. Yeah, I, I I do love I do love the skit with him and uh, Wayne Brady though. Yeah, that was just fucking golden. probably the best episode of season two. I make Brian Gumbel all like Michael Max, Malcolm Max. Hey, motherfucker! I almost said Malcolm Jamal Warner. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, that'd be interesting. That was Paul Mooney. I used to think Malcolm Jamal Warner was the guy from uh, Tales in the Hood. Tales from the Hood. The teacher? Was oh, that, was oh yeah. David Allen Greer? No, the other guy, the teacher <laughs> no. that was fighting David Allen Greer. Oh, right. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Plus, Yo, the, the teacher scene, was uh, rusty, what whatever. What is there where David Allen Green looks like a badass, where he's just beating the shit out of everyone in the goddamn scene? What the fuck? Yeah, because the, the teacher was actually the guy that fucking directed the movie. Rusty Kundif? Yeah, it was yeah. Rusty, rusty Kundif. That's a name like one person knows outside of us. Yeah. Yeah. Can right. himself. Can't help Someone's that, just really like, like the motherfucker that directed Tales from the Hood. Yeah, yeah. And it's and it's 2018 sequel, Tales from the Hood two, starring Keith David. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, and like that that hit Netflix immediately. So I'm, is, I'm is happy what's his that. name still playing the devil? Do you guys know? No, he's not in the movie. Clarence Williams the third. Yeah, yeah. No, he's not in it at all. Uh, I saw a review and they were bitching. He's not even dead. Why isn't he in the movie? I'm like, is Keith David not good enough? Is he not black enough now? Like what? Yeah, the fuck? apparently not. It's fucking he's no Keith Clarence David. Williams the third black. Keith David, the thing they live. And other movies. <laughs> and other movies. <laughs> and voice correct. Uh, his greatest movie, Pitch Black. The Air Force commercials. <laughs> the oh, Air shit. Force commercials. Yeah. The documentary about superheroes. Call oh, of Duty God. Modern Warfare 2. Yo, man, my favorite work of Keith David, man, you know, R.I.P. Keith David, uh, yeah. is the Air Force commercials. Because them shits made me want to join. Boom, 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 boom. And they used to play that shitty Godsmack song. Yeah. The Navy. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Come kill somebody from a hundred miles away. Hey, it, it worked on Joel. <laughs> that's true. Except for, I think Joel's more inspired by the village people to join the Navy. But that's just my own personal you opinion. Can sail the seven seas. Uh, we all know it's the Japanese lady boys that got him to join. <laughs> yeah, because there was it, lady boys, but... hold on. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this Google, Google page right now, and they fucked up. They fucked up real bad. How so? I'll show you. Hold on. Now, when Nick yeah. shares something randomly, you know it's going to be good. So, yeah. yeah. While we wait, yeah. have you guys ever heard of a show called Garth Marenghi's Dark Place? Uh, no. Yeah. You need to watch it, Kendo. It's on YouTube. Okay, I'm yeah, looking. Right. At, I'm looking at the poster of Bill Cosby and Elliot Gould, and uh oh. Yeah, check your Facebook. One of these things is not like the other. Yeah, I'm I can over, see what it is already. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I don't get it. I, I don't. I don't. Under, what is? I don't. I'm. I'm missing something here. I don't understand. <laughs> Who's the white guy? I don't know. Apparently, Keith David, but it's the uh, d- the wrong Keith David that most people think of. Um, what? <laughs> Unless Keith David's doing a movie where he goes out in whiteface. That's Keith David as Rusty Cundiff. <laughs> in the making of Tales from the Hood. <laughs> With well, because uh, yeah, even ass, Ross, and Eve. yeah, because even like the the credits at the bottom there, you see it's like they live and uh, the thing and officer and gentleman and platoon. Like it's like this is wrong. <laughs> what did you do? That dude just doesn't even look like <laughs> he doesn't even look like the white Keith David. <laughs> He looks like it's something. weird. It's really strange. It is. <laughs> oh yeah, he wasn't the Prince and the Frog. Yeah, and I saw that, that movie. Sadly, Ugh. it's not that bad. It's pretty. I liked it. I okay. I it. All right. All right. The, the the picture they're showing is of is is of uh, is of David Keith. <laughs> there you go. That's what I was about to say. Is it David Keith? Did they get his name backwards? <laughs> they did. Because if you look up if you look up David Keith, it still says Keith David on the side here with this <laughs> and they fucked I, up. So if you look they up David up. Keith, please tell me there's a bunch of white dudes and a picture of Keith David. <laughs> oh my god, I'm looking right now. <laughs> like Google's fucked up. I don't know I don't know how this happened. <laughs> oh god, oh who god. is David Keith? How much He's a country singer. Does he have? Um, he's in all the sequels like a... to Keith David movies. <laughs> he's in the thing too. Yeah, they live too. Platoon too. Minute work too. Is Kurt Russell? <laughs> is Russell Kurt Black? <laughs> That's a good question, Jeff. <laughs> Kurt Black. Fuck. <laughs> Russell Kurt's actually not a black guy. It's like a Filipino or something. <laughs> it's just gonna really just skew hey, the metrics. Hey, hey. Um, <laughs> look at his IMDb. <laughs> David. For Russell Kurt? No, 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 no. Look, 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 look at David Keith's IMDb and go to about um, Jeff. Go to about to go to 2008. 2008. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. Yep. He was in the Boys of Somerville. Yep. Hey. Six degrees of separation. <laughs> oh my god! This has a 6.6 6 on IMDb. David Keith, <laughs> director Brooks Benjamin. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee this. I have more copies of the Boys of Somerville on DVD than everybody but one person on Earth. 
soon about to change because uh, Nick, bring me your other cases. <laughs> I'll bring you the rest, man. I'll store them here, and then we go to Star Wars Celebration. I'll give them out to all the listeners. Like, you guys want a free gift box? <laughs> We should, just, we should just do what I used to do when I used to put the uh, the box in a chair and be like, free movies, take one. And in about an hour, they'd be gone. Oh, I bet we could uh, autograph them and turn them into collector's items. We could uh, like the autographed copies of uh, Strip Club Massacre we were giving away. Oh, my God. <laughs> we should. Uh, or, I should. Take... Dion and I signed a bunch of copies and we have nothing to do with the movie. <laughs> <laughs> At least I saw the premiere. Yeah. No, we should take Star Wars slip covers and put them over the uh, Boys of Somerville. Oh, like, shit. guys, free copies of the original unaltered cut of Star Wars. People go nuts. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, this is the shit they're giving away for free at Celebration Only. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It doesn't even cost <laughs> money. And then people are like freaking like, we gotta do it. Yeah, check out World Class Bullshitters. Check out World Class Bullshitters. We prank Star Wars Celebration. I love it. And that way we're never... <laughs> We're never invited back again. <laughs> I love Nick's Snapchat to Loudy. <laughs> well, because he was, he, he, he's a complete video game. It's like, good for you, dude. Good for you for wasting your evening. I'm trying to be productive here. Don't fucking bother me. I sent him a picture of the screen of us talking to each other and called him a mark. Yeah. <laughs> He, he calls himself a fucking Mark. For those he, who don't... he sent me back the OK, uh, you know, emoji. Yeah. So now, folks, since this is a uh, you know not a live episode, we have a game we want to play. So our good friend Alexander Mesgina over on the official World Class Bullshitters fan page posted this, and it sounds like a lot of fun. She says, "Thought about playing this little game if anyone else wants to participate." If Ryan Johnson made other films, just think of any existing film that comes to mind and try to figure out how it gets Johnson. I'll go first. In Rear Window, the salesman didn't kill his wife, and it was all inside of Jimmy Stewart's head. And then our friend uh, Takakis Andra says, in the room, Johnny actually did hit Lisa. So so what we're going to do for a little bit is we're going to try to Johnson some really great famous movies. So, for example... um, Victor Maitland didn't have Michael Tandino killed. Axel got high and murdered Mikey and raped his corpse. Something stupid like oh, that. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Yeah. Coming hot out of the box. Yeah. <laughs> Breaking from the gates hard. Um, <laughs> um, uh, let's see. In Back to the Future, the lightning strike didn't reach the DeLorean, and uh, Marty was stuck in 1955. Uh, in The Dark Knight, it turns out that... Um, that um, Aaron Eckhart was actually beating beating Rachel, and he sexually assaulted her, and it gave her the power to survive the blast. But, uh, that's dark. <laughs> you said to Ryan Johnstein it. I did. Fair enough. Um, in, in Star Wars A New Hope, uh, Luke Skywalker misses. In Halloween, it wasn't in, the boogeyman. In... <laughs> In Die Hard, John McClane doesn't win. He actually gets killed in the first ten minutes, and uh, you know Hans Gruber ends up getting all the stuff and running away, and, and you know victorious. In Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka's arrested because the Oompa Loompas are a front for an international sex ring, and that, <laughs> <laughs> and he's a cocaine smuggler. <laughs> that ain't powdered sugar, motherfucker. Mm. In Infinity War, it turned out that Gamora murdered her own parents and that her and Thanos have been in a relationship for the past ten years. Oh, shit. I like that oh, one. Oh, God. <laughs> in Iron Man, it turns out that uh, Tony Stark isn't actually Iron Man. It's like a small little you know, Ethiopian child. Named Riri Williams. <laughs> oh, jeez. In Paul... It turns out that Paul actually changes his genders every other scene, and he's in love with both Simon Pegg and Kristen Stewart, and they ride off to have a love connection with her father. That actually sounds kind of (laughs) hot. In Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones avoids the boulder, but it traps him in the temple, so the next two hours is him just figuring out what he's going to do. And he commits suicide at the end. Oh, God. Does he he whip himself to death? No, he has a gun, remember? Oh, I know, I know. I just <laughs> was trying to make fun of it. In uh, trading places, uh, Billy Ray and uh, 
Winthorpe's uh, plan goes awry and they actually end up losing all their money and the Dukes brothers end up making tons of money. <laughs> in, trading, in trading places, uh, Jimmy the Curse does not get topless. Ooh, yeah. I don't like this game that anymore. John- I don't like it. I'm yeah, done. Say, <laughs> that totally Johnson's the entire 80s. <laughs> In Alien, it turns out they were sexually assaulting the alien itself the entire time. <laughs> in Aliens, they uh, meet the aliens and then drink their uh, green milk out of them. <laughs> <laughs> they they milk them for their, their green milk that's ultra nutritious? Mm. Yeah. In Nash- it's super acidic. In, in, in National Lampoon's Vacation, that's not actually the Griswold family. Clark Griswold is an escaped mental patient who kidnaps a family and forces them across the country to go to Wally World. <laughs> <laughs> and only when he stops does he re- uh, pull out a gun so they don't run off. <laughs> In True Lies, it turns out that Arnold Schwarzenegger and Tom Arnold have been having sex the entire time. <laughs> I believe that. That kind of sounds In odd. Pred- In Predator, it turns out that the American troops are the bad guys the whole time, and the Predator is just trying to defend his home. <laughs> <laughs> the jungle he landed in. They took yeah. their jobs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, 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 he didn't land in the jungle. The jungle landed on him. Oh, That's right. It's, it's, it's social commentary on uh, immigration and imperialism. Yeah. yeah. In Ocean's It'll Eleven, it turns expectations. Out they say... <laughs> yeah, turn those expectations down a little bit, guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> in Ocean's Eleven, it turned out that they were saving Julia Roberts from her abusive boyfriend the entire time, and money isn't the real thing. It's they all wanted Julia Roberts to fall back in love with George Clooney. And Pretty Woman, it turns out Richard Gere was the prostitute the whole time. <laughs> I get it now. I get it now. And Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. They can't find a White Castle, so they go to Burger King. There we go. <laughs> and Harold and Kumar, too. Um, they don't smoke weed on the planet. They get to Amsterdam. Fine. And Harold, and and Harold and Kumar. Th- and Harold and Kumar, three. It turns out they're both married and well-adjusted adults. And they celebrate Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> they both married Jewish girls. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I, yeah, <laughs> big noses and big tats. And, and, and Batman, lots of money. In Batman eighty nine, it turns out that uh, the Joker didn't actually kill Batman's parents. Uh, Alfred did. <laughs> I thought I said they actually broke Bruce Wayne's an escape mental patient with an yeah. alcoholism problem. Everything, every movie is just an escape mental patient. <laughs> Beetlejuice actually isn't dead. He's an escaped mental patient that can shrink and grow in size. Um, in Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, the kids aren't really dead. It's just the parents have done a lot of acid and forgot where they put them. In the Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger didn't actually rape and kill those kids. The parents just didn't like him because he was black. <laughs> <laughs> and one flew over the cuckoo's nest. It turns out Jack Nicholson is actually crazy. And uh, when Big Chief kills him, he runs off and becomes an escaped mental patient. <laughs> And one flew over the cuckoo's nest. It turns out that Big Chief is black all along. <laughs> in in Jaws, he was trying to he was just tr- lonely. wanted wanted some friends to uh, to hang out with. That's all. No, in, in, one, in Jaws, co- in Jaws, it turns out that Richard Dreyfuss has been black all along. And <laughs> one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Big Chief doesn't win uh, Jack Nicholson's support by giving him juicy fruit. He gives him uh, double mint. <laughs> no. <laughs> Trajectory of the movie changed. In Jaws, oh, Jaws wasn't angry. He just had something stuck in his tooth, and he was trying to get somebody to help him get it out. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> can you help me get it? Oh shit, you're dead. Can you help me get it? Oh, I wasn't trying to eat your leg. I just had something stuck in my tooth. <laughs> just go ahead and pull it out there, buddy. Ah, it's a shark. <laughs> and then finally, you know, that canister gets. I was like, thanks, you got it out there, uh, Roy Scheider. <laughs> wow, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> In GoldenEye, James Bond's completely inept, and Natalia Semenov's actually the hero. In all the James Bond movies, it turns out that he's got ED, and he can't fuck anybody. (laughs) That damn rope. In James Bond, James Bond finds out that he's been black all along. (laughs) In James Bond, it turns out James Bond's an escape mental patient. It's all in his head. (laughs) Oh, my God. In Jaws, Jaws finds out he's an escape escape mental patient as well. And Jaws, Jaws finds out that he's been black all along. <laughs> I would watch a movie In Jaws 2, it turns out he wasn't black all along. He was an escape mental patient that thought he was black. <laughs> I'm a black shark, brother. A black Get Paul Blark. <laughs> Paul Blark, black shark. I'd watch... <laughs> we can put that on a t-shirt. 
Paul uh, Clark, in, Black Shark. In, <laughs> in Goonies, in Goonies, all, all the kids get arrested for being black and breaking into that restaurant. <laughs> in the Goonies, after they uh, get all the money, they still move away to Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> they still shut down the town. Yeah, they're like, eh, well, Mikey's parents are greedy, so they just decide to keep the jewels for themselves. In the Goonies, it turned out that One-Eyed Willie was a slave trader all along. <laughs> and then Sloth touched Chunk. In the Sixth Sense, it turned out that he wasn't seeing dead people. He was seeing black people all along. <laughs> In the Sixth Sense, it turns out he was... Let's get metal, play, metal page trying to see dead people. <laughs> In the In sixth sense, sense it out that he was an escaped mental patient who thought he saw black people all along. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was going. I knew it. And the, in the <laughs> Godfather, it turns out they weren't Italians who were a black family the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it was. And they remade the movie a few years ago. Tyler Perry's, uh, you know, Black Christmas or something. Med- I don't know. Uh, Medea's Tyler Perry's Black Godfather. <laughs> yeah. Would you go pay oh. to see that one? Uh, I wouldn't pay to see it, but I would be entertained because just the thought of it makes me think, God, this is a terrible idea, but I want to see the train wreck unfold. Black guy. Thought. Yeah, yeah, th- that's a movie you would definitely rip off just to just to see and see how bad it is. Oh, did you? Yeah. Did I tell you I finally saw that movie JD's Revenge about the the ghost of a pimp that takes over the body of a young guy in 1970s New Orleans? No, but oh we want to see it. It's on YouTube for free. Oh my god. In Saving Private Ryan, it turns out Private Ryan was dead the whole time, and when they find him, they realize he had been killed he was and black. was never there. Oh. Yeah, it <laughs> turned out Private Ryan was black all along. In Saving Private Ryan, they're, 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 not really world, they're not really fighting a war. They're just escaped mental patients who, who are chasing black people into the woods. In Valkyrie, we find out that Tom Cruise is black all along. <laughs> In Valkyrie, we find out Adolf Hitler is black all along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, side note, he was also an escape mental patient. <laughs> but he didn't kill his wife. And, and, he, and, he, and, he, and he kept seeing ghosts. It was the one-armed man. <laughs> <laughs> it was the one-armed Himmler. <laughs> In The Revenant, we found out that the bear was black all along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> This is either going to go down as one of the worst episodes of all time or one of the best. You know, I'm leaning towards the best. You know what we're going to do is we're going to start getting messages in our groups like, hey, blah, blah, blah. They were a black escape mental patient all along. And like, no <laughs> one's going to get the joke. Yeah. <laughs> in episode 145, the bullshit has found out that they had been black all along. And we were escape what? mental patients. We weren't actually on a podcast. Oh, God, no. <laughs> What has happened to us? Reality is we know it has shifted. Oh. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, shit, man. Oh, fuck, dude. There goes our light skin complexion. Oh, shit. They're going to write an article about us but, about justified. But you know what? We can all go play John Henry now. <laughs> yeah. <That's> true. <laughs> we'll, we'll make four separate movies, too, to be oh, the story of John Henry. And then it'll be John Henry, the prequel, John Henry, the aftermath, and John Henry's Jr. And we'll all star in each different one. <laughs> we should just call it J to the fourth power. <laughs> there yeah. you go. It's very avant-garde. <laughs> on it, It's actually a black noir film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> J to the fourth power. Oh, there we go. Folks, if you'd like to see J to the fourth power, let us know and... Uh, after stealing solo, we'll fund Jade of the Fourth Power. <laughs> <laughs> we'll film it down we'll by come a up railroad with some track. Kind of, some kind of contraption that turns us all black. Well, I'll just I'll just be like, I'm gonna be me. And you know, when I was a kid, people said shit to me. So I'll play that card now and use it to make money. There you uh, go. Jeff Hicks is John Henry. I got the same initials. There you go. <laughs> They'd be like, Dion, you don't have the right haircut to be John Henry. They'll write articles about you. Yeah. Oh. Dion Henry is too black to be John Henry. It's some real bullshit. John Henry, played by Chris Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> Get out, man! <laughs> <Thunk. laughs> Could you imagine Chris Tucker with a sledgehammer trying to beat uh, a railroad Jesus spike Christ. layer? Yeah. 
Where the where the fuck is Junior, Junior Walker Jr.? You got planted the fuck down. You and Jackie words Chan that come out of my mouth. Jackie Chan plays the Chinese railroad worker that helps him. <laughs> Rush Hour Four. It's a Rush time Hour travel. Four. It's a time travel <laughs> Rush Hour Four. The Transcontinental Connection. Ooh. <laughs> Rat Ratner finally got his Oscar. Or Brett Ratner finally got his Oscar. <laughs> Shimon Lee, Shimon. Shimon Lee to the West. <laughs> Shimon to the West. Rush Hour 4, Shimon to the ru- to the West. Can, oh can uh, Owen Wilson have a cameo? Wow. Hell yeah. Yeah, Owen Wilson plays the sound of every railroad spike going in. Every time the hammer hits, instead of clink, clink, you hear, wow, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> in Ghostbusters, the State Puff Marshmallow Man kills them all. Oh, jeez. It was Lena Dunham all along. They were all they were all black escape mental patients. <laughs> Except Winston. He was white. He was a white accountant named Lewis Tully. <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> the Ghostbusters, Winston Edmore finds out he was white all along. <laughs> I fucking love it. I love these games. The best one was when we had to replace a movie title with the word asshole. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Cheaper by the asshole is my favorite still. <laughs> Cheaper by the asshole. <laughs> the movies and the porno titles is always good too. Like M- Midnight Meat Train. That's actually the uh, the title of an actual movie. I know, that's Edward how good Co- it is. Superman two, the or Superman four, the quest for cock. Asshole. <laughs> We're progressive on this the channel. Quest for- the quest for asshole. Uh, I'm, now I'm trying to think of another one now. For asshole? No, hand job to the quickening. There we go. How's that one? <laughs> well, I was gonna say in, in today's in today's world we could have blacked to the future. I mean a Tyler Perry joint. <laughs> yeah. A Tyler Perry triple X joint. A Jim Jarmusch collection. Uh who else? <laughs> now I'm gonna start you could just turn dodgeball into dodgeballs. Yeah. Vince Vaughn yeah. Beverly the Hills porno. Cock. Yeah, be- oh, how have they not made Beverly Hills Cock, Dion? I'm sure they've made it. I gotta look it up. Okay, yeah, Google. I find it. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, Google. Spunk- Beverly Hills Spunker Cock. Man. Uh, there's a song. Oh, oh shit! Uh, this could go one of two ways. <laughs> well, it's on YouTube, so it's not you know. Beverly Hills Cock by TCY4 samples, covers, remixes. Who sampled it? Did they sample Axel F? Lil Kim. It has to be. Yeah, they had to have sampled Axel F. Or Lil Kim. She is she gross today, Dion? She is, but her face looks like a goddamn weird voodoo doll. Yeah, she had way too much plastic surgery, and she's all fucked up now. I'll just call her LOL Kim because she <laughs> she looks like a like an action figure. It's weird. It's very weird. She looks like an uglier Janet Jackson, which is a lot to say. Which yeah, which is hard to accomplish. Because I, Cause she probably she probably hasn't moved her cheeks in at least three years. Which ones? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How could she not move the other one? She has to sit down. They just kind of naturally open. It's like sitting on a bag of granite. <laughs> Yeah, her skin color also changed too. If you really, she's getting lighter, <laughs> way her lighter. Face color looks crazy different. I would have never called Lil Kim a beautiful woman, but at least she looked like a human being. Now she looks like okay. a toy. Yeah, it's really. Yep funny. she she looked she she looked like what she wanted to look like. A coked out Kim Kardashian. Yeah. There, there is Instead of golden eye. It'd be golden shower. <laughs> or, or brown eye. I, no. I would watch a movie called Brown Eye. Even, as long as they committed to the whole porno angle and they had a song called Brown Eye and they had like the big bassy orchestral score to go with it, then I would, you know, support the film. I like how the song being called Brown Eye is, is the non negotiable factor. <laughs> Brown Eye. <laughs> do do do. Do 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 It's the hole. The hole that you want <laughs> to touch. <laughs> but you must not touch. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, <fuck. laughs> 
<laughs> Y'all we'll need to calm down. We're having too much fun here. It's getting silly. I know, right? Oh. It's, it's, it's 8 p.m. in Virginia. We're really out of trick or treat still. <laughs> I'm too old, man. I'm, I'm getting arrested right now. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll pay my $25 fine, officer. <laughs> I'll pay it in Kit Kats. Did you guys take Kit Kats? Did you put that uh, razor blade in my apple? <laughs> but, uh, officer, I'm 12 and a half. <laughs> wow, that'd be <laughs> <laughs> These sweet parts look like ecstasy. <laughs> Try them, see what happens. Son, what are you doing trick or treating for beer? Uh, uh, hashtag life goals. Funny story. <laughs> hashtag late made me do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Always that late. Oh, that lapist. I got to make sure he's hanging out with us this weekend because he is invited. I mean, not no, I'm to, sure he not is. to everything. You know, right. <laughs> not to uh, Halloween, but everything after that. What would you get him really drunk at the Airbnb? He's, I but, oh, of course. But guys, I got to drive. No, you don't. You can stay here. That's apparently, Bur- do. apparently Burger King has a scary black cherry slush for I Halloween. I have that tab pulled up. I actually thought, I'm going to go get one of these tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I might try one to see how, how, uh, how it is. Hopefully, hopefully, it doesn't turn my poop black or green or whatever the hell it, the, the thing did last green. Year. Does it? Yeah. Yes. Does it matter? It's, like it's, it's your green. poop. It's not like you gotta collect it for reasons. Yeah. Right. Why am I still looking at pictures of Lil Kim? <laughs> I don't know. Because you're intrigued. She is a. T- she's dressed like an Oompa Loompa right here, dude. We're a ninja from You Only Live Twice. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's about to go beam up Mike TV. Jesus. Look at this. Tell me I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Let's see here. Oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> God damn. Oh, oh I my like- God. And there, yep, little Kim is now a white girl. What the fucking fuck? I know, right? I want to get crazy and change my skin color. I want to be a nice oh, chartreuse. Geez. My <laughs> chartreuse, and get like a a duck bill, and uh, I like how the little caption underneath is Lil Kim White. <laughs> Lil Kim yeah, is yeah. sick and tired of skin bleaching. Really, you don't it's say? Sick. Yeah, I don't think that would be a fun process to undergo. There's a picture of her next to Kim Kardashian, who is infinitely times more attractive than her. Anyway, this this saddens me. Are those her boobs or her stomach? That's gotta be her boobs, man. They're just awkwardly big around her chest. No, I do like them big. My God, even I would just be like, actually, I'd be afraid if little Kim if little Kim hit on me, I wouldn't know what to say, dude. Yeah, it'd be awkward. I know what to say. Go for it, and then sell the story to the tabloids. Just, just say you're allergic to polypropylene. I'd go for it, but you guys couldn't judge me. Oh, of we course not. <laughs> No, we're, no, we we would never judge you like we judge uh, Dustin. Would you That's would true. you promise to drive me to the clinic to make sure I'm okay before parts start falling off of me? Oh yeah, 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 yeah definitely, yeah, definitely. We're, we're gonna have a fucking dose of penicillin just on standby. Oh, yeah, yeah, in, 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 a, in, in a giant <laughs> in a giant syringe you have to put in your heart. Oh god, that will kill me. <laughs> well, I mean, do you want your dick to fall off or what? I mean, what, what do you want? What do you want? <sighs> your dick still works? Yeah, it, it still works. It's a little sore, but it still works. <laughs> I was scrolling through <laughs> Facebook and there was a picture of Ruby Rose and for a moment I thought it was Dave Franco. <laughs> yeah, there are at least pictures of her um, as I guess Batgirl, Batwoman, yeah, Bat- Batwoman, yeah. She it looks she looks fine. Yeah, that's what I said on the it's show only, the other day. It's only it's only it's only one photo one Photoshop picture of her in the costume and I'm just like I don't see any if it was video or something to give more reference to I'd be like okay but it's like one picture it's like it's fine. Yeah, she. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really have an opinion of her. I don't dislike her. I'm not a fan, but I don't dislike her enough to go, ooh, she sucks. There you go. Yeah. That's Dave Franco as a woman. <laughs> Kudos to Dave Franco for being married to Allison Brie, though. Mm. Yeah, well played on his fucking part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess James Franco was feeding him a line of bullshit to feed to Allison Brie. <laughs> Say this shit, yeah. 
Don't offer to eat her asshole on the first date. Trust me, it'll work. <laughs> Loudy somewhere playing 2K19, tasting what he had for dinner last week from his girlfriend. <laughs> People probably listen to this and go, Jeff, why do you say that all the time? Because it's fucking true. It's not a joke at this point. It's like true life stories. It's like you got up and you went to work and you drank a cup of coffee. You're, oh, that's just recounting your day. Yeah, well, he got up and went down and ate some butthole. It's not a joke. <laughs> we have we have videos of him talking about how a girl ate his after the gym. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I didn't shower. It wasn't dirty, but I didn't shower. I have a video of him saying that. Uh, that is dirty. Yeah, yeah, man. Don't ever drink after him. <laughs> Here, Laudy, here's your own red cup. Uh, this is your cup for the whole Give night. A brown cup, uh, so we know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you lose it, uh, just tell me, tell me, you know, and I'll get you a new one. We're gonna get a giant can only... poo emoji mug <laughs> to drink out of. <laughs> but you can only drink out of the, these cups, so we know, who, you know, who drank out of them. We don't want to get them fucking E. coli or something. <laughs> yeah. One of those weird poo diseases. E. coli louderback. <laughs> what, what do you guys call that at my birthday party, please? Yes. yes. All right, cool. E. coli louderback. Like, what? Apparently, we're all going to call him that, so it works. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the people that listen to this show, like the super dedicated ones, during the live stream will be like, hey, look, it's E. coli louderback. I'll be like, fuck. The one, the one thing I love is that none of those guys are going to know any of these jokes. We're just going to laugh amongst ourselves, and they're just going to be like, what? What do what, you say? Don't worry about it, man. It's fine. Yeah, when I went to the Brazilian steakhouse with those guys the other week, they were like pissy. They're like, yeah, you and your channel and this and that. I'm like, feel bitch that I go to the gym. I'm like, stop playing fucking video games. And then don't bitch to me. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He bitched that you go to the gym yeah. and are actually being healthy? Yeah. Fuck him. <laughs> you go to the gym, you work out. You're losing weight. You're getting girls. Fuck you. No. How, how about you do the same, motherfucker? Quit, quit. You know, bench pressing donuts and sitting on your ass and playing video games for ten hours a day, and you know, you know, get to the fucking gym, man. Come on. Damn, scorching hot take. What we'll do, yeah, dude. is we'll uh, <clears throat> we'll open a new chapter of world class bullshitters. We never mention them again post episode one fifty. I'm I'm um, entirely fine with that. I'm entirely fine. It'll with have that. been like what sixty episodes since they had been on. Yeah, uh, I can run the numbers if you really want me to. But the last time anybody that wasn't the one of us was on the show that I can think of off the top of my head is 102. That was the last Jedi review, and Phil was on that. Um, but other than that, I can't think of any time that somebody that one of them hasn't been on it, at least. Oh, uh, well, yeah, people were like, "Could you? who are these people? It's okay, guys. Don't worry. This is uh, the end of an era for us. This is our WrestleMania 28. We're only going to do it a couple more times, and then we're going to come back and fight in Australia, and then Saudi Arabia, and then boom. Yeah, we got to get that. <laughs> we, want that we want that Saudi money. It's funny. People are like, why are you making fun of the Middle East? We're not. We're making fun of the WWE. Yeah, we're yeah. ragging on them. Yeah. So, Extending an era. We, we, we live the Middle East. We got our gas from there. <laughs> I would just like to point out that that wasn't me. <laughs> no. Somebody else said something. Not on this show. Bro. All right, Vince. Bruh. Thanks, Vince. That's all I can say. No, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll move into the next era. But dude, the Brazilian steakhouse here in town. Almost as good as Fogo de Chao. Ooh. Really? Yeah. That's a bold statement, sir. Yeah, if we didn't have my birthday party to go to, I'd say that's where we're going to go. But uh, we do. Hey, man, I'm, I'm down for all of it. Well, I guess we could go without Kendo. <laughs> <laughs> he might be mad at us for that. I won't. We'll go to, no. we'll go to Skyline instead. That's fine. <laughs> you are no selling like I a motherfucker tonight. Uh, about, yeah. uh, about to say, about to say, Kendo's going to take a bucket of Skyline back with him, so... No, probably not. We should go to Hofbrau <laughs> House on Friday when you guys are here, Dion, Nick. Yeah, Ooh, sure, I man. like it. Eleven dollar liters of beer. There you go. Shit, it's good place. You guys will like it. Yeah, I drink two or three. I'm fucking done. Plus, I'll be in walking distance of the Airbnb. It will. Yeah, it's just gonna be like, hey okay. guys, let's get drunk and walk around Newport, Kentucky. Okay, dude, I'm fucking down for that. So I was, I was gonna park my car and walk everywhere. Yep, that's the dream. Hey, it's like New Orleans all over again. 
What a great <laughs> we, 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 we walked everywhere. And I don't even care about that. I feel like we didn't gain yeah. any weight that trip. We <laughs> yeah, sure didn't. We, we walked we, we a kept, mile. We kept day. even. We kept even the whole time. Yeah, I mean, that's how I was able to drink 40 beers. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. Dion, the last day, you and I were just trying to fucking finish because Kendo brought a uh, luggage cart full of beer up. We were just sitting there. <laughs> yep. We were looking at each other like, ready for another one? Yep. Like, yep. We, we tried really hard. We haven't really slowed down as much as you would think. Like, oh, yeah, 10 years ago, these guys were pounding beers. We can still do that today. We just don't. It's like, eh, you know. Mm-hmm. It's not that I can't. It's that I just don't want to. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what we're saving for next week, though. Fuck yeah. <laughs> can't, gotta have nuts in it. Oops. <laughs> I hate how the Facebook app knows, or randomly turns on music for my uh, ads that I have to watch. Like for the purple bed. Yeah, that's. I don't want to buy the purple bed. I'm never gonna. Yeah, buy they've. It. Ugh, God. What the fuck? Yeah, is they've. They started putting. They started putting ads in some videos now. It's a pain in the ass. It's like, oh, so you're gonna show an ad? Oh, neck. Just not gonna watch video now. Fuck you. One. If we ever have a really bad podcast, I'll just put an ad every thirty seconds and see if people there you can go. make it through the show. Like, what the fuck happened to this show? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it, you fucking sell out. No, we're doing this to protect you because this episode is garbage. And then somebody downloads <laughs> ad block. Like, this show does suck. They care about us. <laughs> you can do that for for, for uh, episode one fifty. Do we had your interest at heart. Yeah, for the guys that are gonna be like, it's like dusted every time he said, Well then I did this to my have, have you guys ever checked your medical supplies from Liberty? Blah 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 blah. And then it comes back to Dustin and he says butthole or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Said, Loudy chimes in. Did you say butthole? Shut up, Loudy. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you do it you do it at every thirty seconds, the show ends up being like six hours long. <laughs> But for some reason, everyone's really morbidly curious about a three hour or a six hour show. So it gets like forty thousand views, <laughs> and we get like twelve million dollars from. It's Adam. our highest grossing episode ever. Yeah, yeah, we, we get twelve million dollars from Liberty Medical Supplies. They're like, we you, for some reason you guys sold us so many supplies. Here's, here's your cut. Thanks. It's because of Phil's diabetic foot. It was like I want a cut of that. I was on it. No, man, you lost your foot. Our, our money yeah, you didn't. With you, both feet. you didn't sign the paperwork, and you know you didn't cross your you T's and dot your eyes. I can't you wait know. to pass out in the movie theater bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? You tell him that story, Dion. Wait, what? Oh, he, Dion just told that story not too long ago. Was Nick not here when he told us? Oh, Nick, I I thought, thought, no, I no, 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 no. Wait, no. Wait, wait, was it the movie theater bathroom? Because I heard. I, I think I just heard a bathroom is what I heard. Well, he's, it was a movie theater bathroom, he wasn't it? He did pass out at a movie theater bathroom. I think it was for like the Avengers, like the second screening for the Avengers, not the. Yeah, it, well, it, wait, no, no, wait, no. Okay, the one I remember is a, at a bar or something. Yeah, Jeff you, was at a bar. Yeah, up. Okay, it was WrestleMania in uh, where were we at? New York. So that would have been 2013. And Phil went to B Dubs at like noon to get a table for WrestleMania, and he kept drinking Angry Orchards, and he went to the bathroom and he passed out for like two hours. He went into a diabetic coma. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that's what it was. That's what it was. But the movie theater. But I had no idea he did. Oh, fuck his cousin it. had to come get him. I never heard of that one. <laughs> yeah, see, that one's way more recent. That's, that's like peak Phil. <laughs> that's that's Phil. That, that's him peaking. Yeah. <laughs> you peak. So anytime one of us passes out someplace like in a bathroom, you've gone peak Phil. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I almost, I almost want to get a little sign made so when one of us does pass, pass out on the toilet, you just put it over there, hashtag Peak Phil, and then you tweet it out. <laughs> just, a, just, just a little necklace that you have. Yeah, Peak Phil. <laughs> yeah, and you got to wear it the whole next day. Yeah. Oh, ooh, I like that. Only if you pass it's, out on the it's toilet. It's like our own cone of shame. I love it. The Phil walk, you got a limp. <laughs> <laughs> The next day, you have to o- over order on food and then throw it all up afterwards. Oh fuck you! I'm not doing that. <laughs> then don't pass it off the toilet, bro. Yeah, don't be a bitch. <laughs> just, just simple way to avoid that one, there, bud. Fine, I'll I'll, I'll pass out in the tub. <laughs> Fair enough. Nobody will touch you if your shoes are off. That's right. Well, right just figure you went in for a swim. You got a little overheated. I was looking for Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be your boyfriend. Because oh, Nick looks the most oh, like Jesus. Johnny Depp. Yeah, apparently I do. I mean, of all of us, you have the closest resemblance. I mean, your hair is the same yeah. color. <laughs> I was going to argue. Yeah, I'm okay with not Jesus. looking like Johnny Depp. 
just old and used up. Well, yeah. old na- Johnny Depp now for sure. Yeah, young Johnny Depp. Yeah. I know. I, I know. He was all. He was all uh, mad about what's it, Amber Heard when she when she uh, left him for Elon Musk. But wasn't Johnny Depp like a piece of shit that would abuse her? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was beating the shit out of her. Oh yeah, Amber Heard is a beautiful, fine woman. Yes, yeah, she yeah. is. Johnny Depp fucked that one up. <laughs> yes, he did. And that was after they both got kicked out of fucking Australia. Had to make an apology video, How did you which, which was the country? most half-assed. It was the most half-assed apology video I'd ever seen. They're like, "Yeah, we're it sorry." Was it was hilarious. Is it Amber Heard from Australia? I don't think so. Okay, Google. Where is Amber Heard from? Amber Heard was born in Austin, Texas. Oh, okay, that's that's, that's a confusion. That's pretty far from Australia. <laughs> you got the AU part right, so I got to give you. Yeah, that. man. Cause that, I was going to give her extra credit for being thrown out of her own country. <laughs> but, wow, you got thrown out of your own country. That's yeah, awesome. they're yeah, their prime minister is um, a really weird motherfucker. Yeah, I, he doesn't allow he doesn't you he, he won't allow dogs in from other countries because they might bring diseases. Um, he you know sometimes he won't let other people in as well. Like it's it's a whole thing. Yeah, I would definitely not. Well, one, I wouldn't hit any woman, but I would definitely not uh, fuck up a relationship with Amber Heard. You seriously no, like definitely not. make that shit work? Yeah, she's like a ten. She's fine. How'd you fucked it up, Johnny Depp? So yeah, you're Johnny Depp. What the fuck are you thinking? Man, idiot. He wasn't. <sighs> now speaking of thinking, oh, oh god damn it! The Axel Foley watch went off. <laughs> 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 That's twice. Yeah, every midnight. Uh, no, all I was gonna say, folks, is as we close this episode out. First off, thank you. But I've been getting us some domain names. Do you think it's too early to tell them about what our uh, World Class Bullshitter store is going to be called? Because I haven't even told you guys yet. No, i tell them now. All right, folks. So originally, we still do own worldclassbullshitters.com, which we are going to build. And I've decided we're going to put a little meme section on there so people can stop trying to go friend us on Facebook and take really stupid out-of-context photos and try to meme them. We'll take official meme photos from multiple angles so you guys can try to meme us. That'll be fun. But I've decided instead of trying to do worldclassbullshitters.com slash store and all this stuff, the official store site is now just shopwcbs.com and that'll be going live relatively soon. But it's a nice, easy way to remember that. So get your uh, URLs ready, you know, to type in shopwcbs.com, bookmark it already, and when it comes time, you know, Check out the shirts and all that stuff. But we're going to give you guys a heads up. That's the next step, the next evolution of world-class bullshitters. And uh, since today is, what, the 18th by the time you hear this, Stealing Solo has like three days left. So if you want to grab a copy, all joking aside, uh, this is your last chance. We'll talk about it on a couple live streams, and then once it's gone, it's gone. So, folks, thank you to everybody who has uh, been a world-class bullshitters fan all year. For the multiple years we've been here, like Brian Lape, who's been here since almost the beginning. What is he, our 40th subscriber or something, Kendo? Fuck, I don't know. Well, he always says it. <laughs> he talks to you a lot, and he knows the number. Yeah, but I don't fucking listen to him. Uh, neither do I. I thought you guys had a bond because you both wore glasses or some shit like that, so. Uh, no. Okay, you're both white. That, I mean, that's true, too. There we but... go. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't share a bond with every white person. You don't? You sure about that? <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> Guess not. Yeah. But uh, Dion, Nick, Kendo, do you have anything you want to say to the listeners before we close this baby out? Uh, yeah, actually, um, I shot my first uh, short horror movie um, recently, and I tweeted it out. It should be on the WCBS Twitter. Twitter. It should be on my Twitter. I think I posted the link to the page and to both pages as well. So check it out. Like it. Comment. Uh, tell me what you thought of it. Um, if you hated it, um, whatever. I don't care. I'm going to watch the it. The road to 100,000 begins. Share with your friends, your family, all that shit. Do it to yeah. it. Yes, and buy our shit. Yeah, call up your uncle that you haven't talked to since he was kind of weird as a kid. Like, hey, Uncle Timmy, check out World Quest Bullshitters, man. They're the greatest podcast in the world. And if you have an Uncle Timmy, I apologize in advance.
<laughs> but if you have an Uncle Jack, well, Uncle Fester, an Uncle Fester, or an Uncle Fucker, your choice. You, <laughs> you, you be the judge of what uncle you want to call. But tell everybody about world class bullshitters. Help us get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and we'll do something stupid like get matching dick tattoos on our asses. Uh, no, we will not do that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you heard it here, folks, and so did the other guys. <laughs> so we'll be back 